Hey guys, Jason here. I'm really excited to introduce you to some new research that we've been doing regarding buckets as a withdrawal strategy as you're getting ready for retirement. Let me show you how this works. Now, many of you know in the Retirement Budget Calculator, we created the Buckets tab to show you how you could diversify your money across different time segments. The idea is that money you need in the short term, you don't want to take as much risk with, and money that you don't need for a long period of time, you can be more aggressive with. Well, what we have the ability to do now is to backtest these different strategies using a bucket simulator. I want to show you how you can use the bucket simulator to backtest these different ideas. And I also want to show you the results if you were to use a bucket simulator, or a bucket strategy heading into retirement instead of, say, just a static 60% stock, 40% bond portfolio that was rebalanced every year. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so this is the bucket simulator, and over here we have some controls. You'll notice that we start with $1 million of liquid assets. We're going to assume a 4% withdrawal rate, and we're going to start with the starting year of 1973 because that was a particularly bad year for both inflation and equity returns. And then we're going to run the simulation for 30 years. In each bucket, we're going to assume each bucket has three years to start with. So bucket one would have three years of cash. Bucket two would have three years of expenses. Bucket three would have three years of expenses. Some of the additional options that we have is many times when people create a bucket strategy or when they've back tested these strategies in the past, they've always assumed that you just have cash, bonds, and stocks. To think differently about buckets, what I'm suggesting is that each bucket represents its own asset allocation. So for example, in bucket two, bucket one is just going to be a cash bucket. Bucket two, we would have 40% stock, 60% bond. Bucket three, we would have 60% stock, 40% bond. And bucket four, we would have 80% stock and 20% bond. We're going to assume a 0% expense ratio. We're going to turn off any spill rules, and then we're going to show you the tables. So if again, if we started with a million dollars and we're going to take out $40,000 a year, down here you can see here's the table. So here you started out with a million dollars, and here's how your money is diversified across each of these different buckets to start. We run the numbers all the way down to year 30, and you can see at the end of this um, 30 years, you have $478,020 remaining uh, after 30 years of taking income from the portfolio using this type of asset allocation strategy. Now, the next thing I want to do is, I, now I want you to remember that number, $478,000 at the end of 30 years. The next thing I want to do is I want to compare that to just taking and using a static portfolio where you have 60% stock and 40% bonds and you're rebalancing every year. So let's look at that same scenario. To backtest the 60-40 strategy, we have to make some changes to our assumptions. So we still have a million dollars to start with. We're still going to assume our 4% growth rate. We're still going to use 1973 as our start year. We're still going to use a 30-year time horizon. But now you'll see bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three have all been set to zero, while bucket four has the remaining assets. And here we assume a 60% stock, 40% bond allocation. Again, everything else being equal using the same U.S. large cap and intermediate term treasuries. And we'll look at the tables again. And you can see here you start out with your million dollars and $40,000 in cash for the first year. And then as we get down to the end of 30 years, you'll notice now you have $272,442 using a static 60-40 portfolio versus using a bucket strategy where each bucket is a separate asset allocation. This is a lot different than what some of those research studies were, how they were conducted. Most of them were, again, conducted assuming that you had cash, bonds, and stocks each in, in different buckets. Now, if you want to learn more or read more about the research using this type of asset allocation for creating your buckets, just go to the Retirement Budget Calculator, scroll down to the blog section and look for this new blog post called new research shows that the bucket strategy is better than previously thought here you can read a very detailed article on some of this research and you can try the bucket simulator yourself by clicking this link